Most people in America know the three S's of person who's living in indigency, poverty, or food insecurities. Those three S's are straightforward in that they're shelter, sustenance, and service, or service, sustenance, and shelter. Usually service is something that we purchase at the store when we're doing something for our own life. And openly it's something we do ever more for the rest of our life. So we have to be in good standing with other people in the community and that means we don't need people who are ugly in their soul, ill-willed, who piss all over us because today I might be impoverished but tomorrow I might be in gold. The liars of America don't understand rights and they take away people's rights in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day, they steal from us and they think that they're okay with Jesus. But they're not because they don't believe in God and they don't believe in the house of the Lord and that's on their life. But in my case today, I didn't have any food for the day. I spoke with two people who tried to play me with a dollar or just named to walk by me and I gently mentioned that I hadn't eaten anything yet. But neither of them offered to feed me. And that's okay. That is their right. But the truth is that the first standard of anyone in the earth needs is to eat. So what do I want to say to you is how much does it cost you personally to eat? Do you personally eat off a dollar? If you personally eat off a dollar in every meal, I say congratulations. You must be building bulk foods and keeping them in your refrigerator, heating them up in your microwave or in your skillet or in your stove, and therefore it costs you a dollar. But someone who's living, generally speaking, without electricity, without a refrigerator, without a stove, without a microwave, without technologies like that, cannot eat solely on a dollar. We can, but it doesn't provide us enough nutrients for the day.